Hello sa inyong lahat. Ang video ito ay tungkol sa conversion of units of mass. Pero bago tayo mag-convert from one unit to another, okay, ipapaliwanag ko muna kung ano ang ibig sabihin ng diagram na ito. The fundamental unit or the basic unit of mass ay ang unit na gram. Okay, aside from gram, ang iba pang mga units, meron tayong kilogram, okay, hectogram, decagram, okay, G is gram, DG is decigram, CG is centigram, MG is milligram. Okay, karaniwan na naririnig or nakikita or nababasa natin ay ang mga units na kilogram, gram, at milligram. Okay, ano naman ang ibig sabihin ng mga arrows na nandirito? Okay, this arrow pointing or going to the right means we will multiply. And this arrow, pointing or going to the left, means we will divide. Okay, later on, malalaman ninyo kung ano ang i-divide or kung ano ang i-multiply natin. Okay, how about ang mga number 10 dito? Ano ang ibig sabihin ng mga ito? Okay, for example, if we are converting from kilogram to hectogram. Okay, let's say 1 kilogram is equal to how many hectogram? So, kilogram to hectogram, that is 10. So, 10 hectogram. Okay, how about 1 kilogram? 2 decagram. Okay, so we have 10 times 10, so 100. So, 100 decagram. Okay, ganun din. For example, gram to decigram. Okay, ang 1 gram is equal to 10 decigram. Okay, ang 1 gram is equal to 100 centigram. 1 gram is equal to 1,000 milligram. Okay, how about gram to decagram? So, this arrow is uh, pointing or going to the left. So, it means we will divide. So, a 1 a gram is equal to, okay, we have 0 0.1 decagram. Okay, milligram to centigram. 1 milligram is equal to 0 0.1 centigram. So, ganun ang function or gamit ng mga arrows or divide and then multiply na na isulat dito. Okay, this time, sagutin natin ang mga sumusunod. Okay, number 1, 45 kilograms is equal to how many grams? Okay, so we have here kilogram and then i-convert down natin ito to grams. So, this is 10 times 10, 100 times 10, that's 1,000. So, 45. Ang 45, kailangan nating i-multiply by 1,000. Okay, 45 times 1,000. Or, the shortcut here is, we just need to move the decimal place ng 45. Okay, papuntang right ng tatlong beses since we are multiplying by 1,000. So, 45. Okay, tanggalin muna natin ito. So, 1, 2, 3. So, decimal point ay mapupunta dito. Just write three zeros here. So, we have 45,000. So, 45 kilograms is equal to 45,000 grams. Okay, how about ang 105 grams is equal to how many milligrams? So, grams to milligrams. So, this is 10 times 10. So, 100 times 10, 1,000. So, 105 times 1,000 or we just need to move 3 decimal place okay, papuntang right. So, tanggalin muna natin ito. So, 1, 2, 3 decimal point mapupunta dito. So, write 3 zeros here. So, we have 105,000 milligrams. Okay, how about 95 centigrams is equal to how many decagrams? Okay, centigrams to decagrams. So, 1, 2, 3. So, it means we need to move the decimal place papuntang left ng tatlong beses. So, let's get 95. Okay, papuntang left ng tatlong beses. Okay, so from here, 1, 2, 3. Decimal point ay mapupunta dito. So, we need to write 1, 0 here. So, 95 centigrams is equal to 0. Point Okay, 0, 0,95 decagram. 
Okay, number four, 400 grams is equal to how many kilograms? So, gram to kilogram. So, one, two, three. So, we need to move the decimal place ng tatlong beses papuntang left. So, we get 400 here or right 400 here. So, one, two, three decimal point ay mapupunta dito. So, 400 grams is equal to 0 0.4 kilogram. Okay, we don't need to write 00, zero or dalawang zero dahil parehas lang kung isusulat natin at 0 0.4 kilogram. Okay, let's go to number 5. 245 milligrams is equal to how many grams? So, milligrams to gram. Okay, so 1, 2, 3. So, move the decimal places ng tatlong beses papuntang left. So, Right, 245. Okay, tatlong beses papuntang left. 1, 2, 3. So, decimal point ay mapupunta dito. So, 245 milligrams is equal to 0 0.245 gram.